have yielded to my authority and the death fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now. We have struck another bargain. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. If I remember correctly, in the last episode, I was basically in the middle of two missions. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. I wonder who will win, Phoenix or Alarak. Alright, we have a bunch of new shit. Okay, good, I haven't looked at the assembly panel. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of the now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us. But it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become, their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Interesting. Let's go ahead and have a look at our new units. Excellent. So who do we have? We still have the usual. I'm going to switch back to the Sentinel for now. Dragoon is going to be the Dragoon. Vanguard. I'll, st I'll stick with the Vanguard because I like it. What is this guy, though? Uh, I still don't... You know what, we'll give it a try. Why not? Bloodhunters I'm completely fine with. Havocs, not really. Mirage. I'm okay with the Mirage. Dark Archon. Oh, what do we have? Ascendant. Psionic Onslaught. You have Mind Blast, which is a very good ability. Uh, Psionic Orb. Sacrifice. Reduces target friend. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm... I wonder. Oh, so, oh, I see how it. Wow, that's actually pretty good. You know what? We'll try it. Wraith Walker. Oh, we we've had this before, haven't we? I I like the Reaver too much, and we have the Destroyer, which I'm fine with the I'm fine with the Void Ray. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. Fall Selnaga, created in his image. They, we must. Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to 
know the truth, to bear it. I know now. This is my purpose. Okay, uh, as long as you don't go crazy on us. I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. I've done that, haven't I? I think I have. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Yeah, I feel like sometimes Alarak doesn't know his place. But it's good Artanis reminds him. This. I've been waiting for this. And destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Carriers, carriers are awesome. Probably this and the battle cruiser are some of the most iconic units of this game. And finally, we're, we're gonna get them. As ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Core to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Sounds good. I don't know if this is going to be like an installation mission or something. So they did bring the Spear of Adun. Ready our ships for assault. Firearch, Mobius Core's vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. is better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facemith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. Oh shit. As you command, Hyrock. So we're gonna be technically we're quote unquote playing as Carax, which is awesome. Did you see the fucking size of that ship, the Spear of a Dune? Because we never really got Oh. I need our best warriors here. I know you are not trained for battle, Faye Smith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. So I was gonna say because I actually do know, just from like being a nerd, that a Terran battle cruiser is 800 meters. So like, this thing must be like absolutely huge. The Spear of a Dune. Holy shit. Because it just like the battle cruiser was uh, like nothing compared to it. It's because we haven't seen it like um, up against many things. Really cool. And it's basically ours to control. I'm going to cut this load timeout by the way. All right, let's get started here. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. 
cool. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, okay. our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. This basically looks like this is going to be purely um, an air mission. Uh, we don't have a lot of resources. So we have automatic assimilation. Two stargates, so I think they're giving us the hint. Oh. There's enough resources here to get started. Interesting. I made a centurion just to pick up these um, things. And like a few more on these minerals. Alright, what do we need? First of all, I want to get a dark shrine. In order to do that, we need a forge. Looks like we're going to have to... If this is the platform that moves, which it looks like it is, I'm going to essentially have to construct all my build... No, actually, no, I don't have to. I can go outside of it, just like my main buildings. Oh, can I not go that way? No, yes, I can. Alright. The These guys are gonna be group one. I'm gonna start off making some mirages. Uh, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna, like I said, make some mirages because... Oh wait, the probe can collect this shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool. I'm gonna need to destroy some things oh yeah the mirage I can I always forget that the mirage can do that you can cons concentrate on that cool uh, yeah let's go and collect these one two not gonna go that way yet because there might be some more shit this way looks like there isn't so you can go collect all of these and back onto minerals. So yeah, I'm gonna have basically all air units, I think. You can go back here. And uh, you, you do actually need, what I was gonna say, you do actually need support for your carriers. Like, carriers might be strong, but they are not invincible. In fact, Sometimes they can go down quite easily, especially against um, aerial units. So you always got to be careful on... Oh, I are, I'm already out? That's pretty shitty. Look at the size of that cannon. So we'll collect these. And... Damn. That's quick. I have resources for one more carrier, which I think is going to be enough essentially to take anything else we have to at least for now i guess this is where we have to i see missile turrets which might be a problem oh access to the controls the platform is operational excellent these navigational controls in the upper right of the command display that's really cool actually additional resources oh what what are you not be far though i should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate of course of course that makes sense uh, so, once these two carriers are complete, we're going to start going. Let's get air armor up. I'll wait until I deplete these minerals. I mean, we have these things con constructing anyways. Um, just seeing how I'm doing on time. But I'm doing well. We don't have to... We don't have to make the probes for the carriers, right? They start out with probes, don't... I mean, um, whatever you call these interceptors I want to see if they still say carrier has arrived which is probably one of the best lines in the game all right come on one is almost done they take a lot of time to build carriers guess we're gonna find out now okay okay of course they say that oh so we do need they don't cost resources though which is interesting it just costs time, which I think this is going to be a strong enough group. We got the fleet beacon. Uh, we got basically all the structures that matter. 
I'll rally the pros in a bit. Okay. Banshees, luckily, of course, cannot attack air units, so... Unless they're escorted. Oh, that's so cool. Best line in the game. And we basically have, I think, our fleet ready. We wait for these Banshees. Gonna rally the probes. Oh yeah, this is like... Nothing. That was probably the quickest I've ever destroyed, like... Anything. I'm also going to put my carriers into group 2 separately. Don't go so close. Okay. Cool. I'd rather have the interceptors take damage than the carriers themselves. Okay, cool. And you should catch up. Just gonna scout out what's ahead. I should also make um, void rays, which is prob probably gonna be the next thing I make. Cool. This is move. Whoa! You guys need to get the hell out. Oh no, those are raids. I thought they were missile turrets. Guys, you wanna like cool. I had a carrier take some damage, which is not the best, but I think it's going to be pretty unavoidable in this mission. Before we go on, I want to make... Let's see if we can fit two of these on here. I think we can. This isn't going to be too tight, is it? We are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of Adoom. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on solar. Oh, shit. We could use it more than ever. I didn't even see that there were no assimilators on this. So, yeah, we're gonna put some down. Put a pile on here just to keep our supply up. Uh, let's make... Fine, we'll, make, we'll start making void rays. I don't think I've lost any interceptors. But I think we can go ahead and send the probe out. Well, actually, before we do that, let's get our carriers over. Even though I don't think there's anything left here. Although losing a probe is not going to be the end of the world, still. So yeah, like I said, as you saw by that little battle hit there, carriers are not invincible by any stretch of the imagination. So... What did I need? I have some things making void rays. Get like three vo void rays just to like really support us on the ground. Uh, guys, you wanna like? Goddamn idiots. It's actually pretty good to focus fire with carriers. They do well like that. Excellent. I get like three, four of these guys, I think. And we should be fine. I'm going to be taking up a lot of supply in this mission. Alright. Do I need that many? Yeah, I think I do. Then we'll go this way. Destroy this hybrid state. Well, we might as well get the power core on the way there. I, I'm really liking this, actually. This air mission. You don't really have many of these. You know, I can... I can scout out a bit. These guys are really fast, so... Not this one, though, for some reason. I feel like, you know what, I probably should have taken Corsairs, because... Why is this guy so... S the fuck is going on with him? Okay, so it looks like there's another platform here. Whoa. Okay. You're gonna go back. I'm not getting this. Why are you so damn slow? Huh, that's really weird. Uh, let's get air weapons up. That's also a cool line. Just channel the light of ire. So many units have cool lines in this game, I swear. So yeah, we'll go assault this first. We're gonna need a 
couple of more carriers. And let's get some shields. I don't... I think the shields affect everyone, so... I'm gonna put... Oh! Wait a second. There's some shit here that I need. Um, is everyone working? I think yes. Are my void rays complete? Yes, they are. Okay, this is gonna be group one. And... I think we can make our... Make a bit of progress here. Let's go over here. Can destroy these two bunkers. With the carriers. All right. Let's make like two more. I almost do. All right, carriers. Good against bunkers because... The thing is, the AI honestly is pretty fucking stupid. Whoa, okay. That's... You should come back here. No, no, what are you... Ah, fuck. Okay, whatever. Attack. Attack. God damn, these mirages. That's a problem when you have units that are... Um, only air units that are faster than your other units. If that makes any sense. They get a little bit overzealous, don't they? Like you... No, get out. We need that destroyed. Cool. Don't think I lost anything. No, I haven't. Uh, let's see if we can... I constantly have to micro these guys back. Cool. Do these guys outrange missile turrets? No, they don't. They destroy them really quickly, though. Uh, how are these guys doing? Another carrier. I think, how am I doing on time? Let's have a look. Okay, I've been going for quite a bit now, but... I'll try taking care of this... This here. And we're gonna do time stop. Holy fuck. Can you say OP or what? That lasts for so long as well. Holy fuck. This is absolutely insane. Well, that's excellent. We are doing pretty well here. This ability is absolutely insane. Good thing it has a huge cooldown like that. Oh, hey there. You guys wanna... Oh, god damn it. What are you doing, carrier? Well, it's ran out anyways. Uh, shit. You get away. Are we, are we gonna be fine? I think we are. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna get a few more mirages. Hmm. I'm... I'm like depleted, aren't I? I'm gonna have to move somewhere else. We'll wait for this carrier and... Actually, probably not strike at the thing yet. I wanna get to a new mineral field. I think mainly Vespine gas is gonna be the problem here. From what I've seen. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of StarCraft. This is... I think this is going to be a really fun mission. So far, I'm liking it a lot. Carrier has arrived. Exactly. I'm going to wrap it up here, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.